I get asked a lot, Liz, how would you DIY pretty much insert any item from Dollar Tree? Stick with me because I grabbed the hottest item for fall, these jars, and I have six totally unique ways that you can use them in your decor. For this first project, you're gonna need a clear jar, a Dollar Tree glass container, and a knob. This knob I already had on hand from a project at Ikea. E6000 your knob to the top of your jar lid. Then you're gonna take your jar lid and your other glass container outside and spray it with two coats of black spray paint. Next, you're gonna flip your black jar upside down. You're gonna put some E6000 on the bottom and then put the clear jar on top. If you haven't guessed already, we're making a candy jar. So all you have to do from here is fill it with some of your favorite candy. You can put the black lid on top. This is perfect for the Halloween season. At the end, you guys are gonna be able to vote on your favorite project. They're all so different, so make sure you watch until the end. I'm gonna show you how to make the cutest soap container for just $2.50. You're gonna need two things from Dollar Tree, this orange jar and some soap. You're gonna take out your soap container. You're gonna pull out the tube that's inside of the dispenser. Next, you're gonna need something sharp. I'm using some wire cutters that I have. I'm gonna poke a hole in the center of my jar and I'm gonna start pulling back the metal. This is pretty easy to do with these lids from Dollar Tree. You're gonna use your wire cutters to continue to pull the back of the lid until the top portion of the soap container fits in perfectly. Once you get it to fit in, just add some E6000 to hold it in place. Then you're gonna take your lid outside, spray it with two coats of a flat black spray paint. And I find that if I put it in a jar or a little plastic cup, it's a lot easier to spray paint. From there, fill it with your favorite soap, add the lid, and you have a perfect soap container to last you the fall season. This next project is great for fall, but really you could use it all year long. You're gonna need a clear container and some twine. Start by cutting long pieces of your twine. You're gonna take two pieces of twine, hot glue them right underneath the lip of your jar. You're gonna do this all the way around your jar. Once you get that done, you're going to take two pieces, clamp them together and hot glue them in place so you create kind of like a triangle. You're gonna repeat this step two times down on your jar. Once you get all of the twine to the bottom of your jar, you're going to pull two pieces together, cut it off in the center and hot glue it in place. Repeat that all the way around. Next, wrap the top half of your jar with twine. And you can fill it with some of your favorite florals. I think this one looks really high end. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment the word of the day, which is jar. I saw these on a high-end site and I thought I could definitely recreate them. You're gonna need two jars. I'm using the orange ones. You're also going to need a black paint pen. I love any project where I can be creative. I started by drawing some ovals down vertically on my jars. Then I went back in and put hash marks all the way around. Let these jars sit out and dry. Now with my other jar, I decided to create some wavy lines. This was really fun to do, but you could do any design, any pattern that you want. For the lids, I'm gonna use two stems that I had from another pumpkin. I'm gonna hot glue those to my jars. I'm gonna spray paint the lids with two coats of a black spray paint. I'll just add the lids to my jar and here's how they turned out. Did you know I have a second channel called Liz from McDaily? I post daily DIYs. You guys definitely need to check it out. Go there, subscribe. You're gonna love it. 
You're probably thinking at this point, there's no way Liz can come up with another way to do these jars, but I'm telling you, I have more DIYs on the way. So this next one, you're gonna need a clear jar. You're also going to need some glass paint. I'll link to the one that I picked up down below, but this is a really fun paint to use. You can use any color you want. I'm gonna use the two blue colors. With the middle section, I'm gonna use a paintbrush and paint on some of the lighter color blue. Now, some of my tips I wanna give you is that glass paint dries really quickly. So you wanna make sure you get all of the brush strokes out as you're going around. Do not wait and come back because by the time you come back, you're not gonna be able to paint it. The other thing is because it does dry quickly, if you want the color to be more intense, just add in a second coat. So after I did the blue lighter paint, I did on the bottom a darker color of blue. And then I did a second coat on the entire jar. I wanted this to have an ombre look, so I'm going to leave the top part of the jar completely clear. Let this dry completely and I styled mine with some fall stems. We definitely need some jars that light up. For this next project, you're gonna need two of the orange jars and some fairy lights. Let's start with the lids. So I'm gonna use some acrylic paint and paint the lids with two coats of a brown paint. Now I wanted these to look a little bit more rustic, so I just found a stick in my backyard and I'm gonna use my saw to cut down two little handles. Now for my leaves, I found these really cool fall florals at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut off a couple of the leaves, hot glue those down, then I'll hot glue my stick in place, and then to make it look a little bit more rustic and realistic, I'll add in some Spanish moss. I added batteries to my lights and I'm gonna place those into the jar, add the lids, and these look so cool lit up. It's your turn to vote for your favorite project. Let me know which one you like the best down in the comments, either one through six. I don't know which one's my favorite. I really like two, but I also like five. And of course, don't forget to try that project you've been wanting to do. And remember, it does not have to be perfect. I hope you subscribe because I really wanna see you back here. Bye.